Hello there, I'm the Dragonator, and today's open source showcase is going to be about Inochi 2D. It is still a work in progress, the, both the software and the model, of course, but I have a question before we start the actual video, which is all footage from the live stream. And that question is, even though it is a work in progress, do you still want to see me do a full tutorial on how to make a you know, cheat to the VTuber model? If so, I have a couple of favors to ask of you. First, I want you to like this video, and then I want you to comment saying that you want to, whether it is pretty please, pretty please, pretty please, pretty please, or if you don't, my cat will be so sad, or you know, something along those lines. I want you to subscribe to my channel, that way you can see if I make the tutorial or not. And then, after that, what I want you to do is I want you to follow Luna Fox Girl on Twitch and give her your bits, give her your subs, your prime subs, your normal subs. This is not a negotiation. Do it and tell her that the Dragonator sent ya. <laughs> but anyway, here's Inochi 2D and how modeling works in a nutshell. This is <laughs> this is not this is not like what I the kind of models that I use now. This is actually pretty low res. But this is a character that I have created for one of my stories and I and if you've seen like my stuff, you've seen her in a past fairy tale time lapse of the Little Mermaid. She's my little, she's my mermaid character who turns human, both in the fairy tale and in the story that I made. So this is how it works as of you know debut day. It's current. Inochi Creator is currently in 0.7.4.1 and it's got tons and tons of various uh, features already such as being able to, to move the head and physics for each part of the hair. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at to demonstrate how rigging works. Here we'll add a there's parameters in the bottom right corner. Add parameter. We will add two parameters to the left eye. This one can be renamed to eye movement left this eye. And then there's this button that says arm parameter. And over here there are bindings. You can add bindings. So, if we go to the iris, then we can move it like that. And then we could also move the shiny of the eye, which I like to call it, also to the left. And then we could do the same for the other side. I don't know why I do this when it comes to shinies, but if you take if you look at my model real closely, it uh the shiny goes like ahead of the iris. I don't know why I do that. But I have this feeling like if I kept the shiny on this side of the eye, I feel like it would look totally weird. And I guess that's why I do it. <laughs> so now the eye can be moved left and right. And then it can move up and down too. So let's do that. Let's move this up. Let's move this up. That's down. And then we can move this down. And move this down. And then what we can do with each of these pieces of the eye is mask sources so that way when the iris 
goes beyond this, the bottom of the eye, you don't see the iris. So you go over to the, the eye white, which is different from the eye shiny, and you go there, I think. Delete. There we go. There we go. It's been a while. It's been a while since I messed with this model. <laughs> and we could do the same for the eye shiny. Let's delete that. And then when we go up, go down, we go left, we go right, nothing goes beyond the sclera, I think it's called. The sclera of the eye. And that's how you rig an eye, the eye movement. Eye movement is 2D parameter, so there's X and Y. But there's also one dimension parameter, which is you can have it from negative one to positive one or from zero to one. I will do zero to one here. And we will call it blank left. The eye mesh on the top has already been done and the eye bottom mesh has already been done. But when you want to make a mesh, for example, the, sh the iris, there's an edit mesh button over here. And you can, you know, mess around with this here. If you hold, if you hold down the control and click, you get to have more points. As such. And then if you press triangulate vertices over here, this triangle. And then click. Then you can mess around with whatever it is you need. That is how you make an eye mesh, a mesh pretty much. That it, every every mesh starts with a square, but it's recommended that you mess with it like this. The layout of the mesh has changed. All deformations to this mesh will be deleted if you continue. That's fine. That's fine. There's no deformations that need to be changed there. If we can, we can arm this parameter. And in order to have it blank, what we need is the eye top. If we go to this path deform tool, go right here, go right here, and then, well, right here, yes, but as long as these points are beyond the confinements of the mesh, we should be good. And we have to have it shaped kind of beyond the mesh like that. And that's the path deform tool. So if I press tab, then if over in the bindings, it says that this can be deformed. So we can put the eye, everything, down as such. This was actually not how I used the path deform tool for the mouth in the old or the eyes in the old model by total accident. So I actually accidentally uh, went inside. So I was like, oh my gosh, how do people do this? I am so confused, but then I looked at live 2D tutorials and I was like, oh, everything made sense. Everything made sense when it comes to like how people use the deforming tool in live 2D. So yes, live 2D tutorials are important, but the terminology will be different. So yeah. And then the eye white. Now, because it's still in, uh, it's still a work in progress, the model creation software. So things like eye closing like that is going to be a little bit um, tricky. It's going to be tricky. But if we press reset on here, it should all be 
decent enough for a quick eye rig. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Nice. What also is in Inochi 2D is physics. It's got physics. If you look closely, there's hair physics for most of the hair. But the exception is this one in the middle. So if we add simple physics here, and then we can add a we need a one dimension parameter for this one from negative one to positive one and we will call it middle bangs physics arm parameter and then what we can do is we can bind the rotation of the bangs as well as any x and y's this is how i did the physics in my model uh it should probably be uh i should have probably like actually used deformation and stuff like that but it's fine it's fine it's a work in progress i got things so I mistyped mid-low, mid-low, middle, middle. Okay, we're gonna call it middle physics. And then if we go to simple physics, there is this parameter. We drag the middle banks physics over here. And now when it moves, it should move a little bit. It moves a little bit when it comes to the bangs. And yeah, that is how, that's how it works. That is how rigging in Inochi 2D works currently. Um, I'm sure there's going to be like some extra things that'll happen in the future. Some extra features. I've seen that the main creator is working on toggles, not toggles, animations. We can also take pictures. So let's take a picture of this. But we can add a camera over here. And then, I don't even know where it is. Oh, oh, wow, okay. And this is why you have to have your models high res, ladies and gentlemen and others. <laughs> because that is something else. <laughs> point three, point three. There we go. And then what we can do is we can either just Im export it as a puppet for you know tree session. Which I'm not going to do because I haven't even rigged the mouth yet. The mouth parameters, like the mouth pieces are still here. But I don't think I'll like rig the mouth here. Uh, that might be that might be a different time. But what we can do though is we can export as a PNG. I can allow transparency. I can use post processing. I'm not even sure. If uh, use transfers, a lot of transparency works. I don't know, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> Save. But yeah, that's how that's how it works. And I am using Inochi Session to um, actually display the model. Inochi Session is currently the only tracking software available. Currently. Like, even the tracking itself is a work in progress when it comes to how to track. You can use VTube Studio. And in the future, Open Seaface. There might be some other protocols and stuff like that. But currently, VTube Studio is the best way, the most consistent way to uh, track your model in real time. I've tried OpenZFace, it's a bit, it's a bit of a mess, but 
it it'll be worked on in the future. Maybe maybe next maybe in the after the new year. But yeah. <laughs>